Unusual scene inside a courtroom in Utah where a doctor is charged with killing his wife to make room for his lover. Well, taking center stage, a model of a bathtub where neighbors found Michelle McNeil with a lethal combination of prescription drugs in her body. ABC's chief legal affairs anchor Dan Abrams has the latest testimony. No, she just looked lifeless and collapsed. The next door neighbors who first rushed to the scene of Michelle McNeil's death took the stand Friday testifying in the case against Martin McNeil on trial for his wife's murder. How fast were you going in between homes? Were you running? I was running. Prosecutors called Doug and Christy Daniels to describe bizarre behavior by Martin in the crucial moments after they rushed next door to find their neighbor standing over his wife's lifeless body in the bathtub. Doug Daniels telling the court that Martin kept stopping CPR to criticize Michelle's recent plastic surgery. And then he'd throw his hands in the air, uh, I think twice he would say, why? Why would, why would you do this? All because of a stupid surgery. But a plastic surgeon testified earlier in the week that it was Martin, not Michelle who seemed more intent on the surgery, which prosecutors argue was all part of a plan to over-medicate her. The jury also heard testimony that the Utah doctor declined Christy Daniels' offer to help move his wife's body from the tub. He said, I need some help. I need a male's help to get her out of the tub. Prosecutors say that was done to sabotage efforts to save Michelle, along with giving 911 operators the wrong address. Was it 305, did he give a west or south? He didn't. And we tried to get out of him and then he disconnected and nothing came up on our caller ID. Martin McNeil's attorneys dispute all of that, arguing that he immediately acted to save his wife. The big question for jurors may be whether there's proof beyond a reasonable doubt that Michelle was murdered at all. For Good Morning America, Dan Abrams, ABC News, New York. Michelle's daughter spent years yeah. trying to bring her mother's killer to justice. So this oh, is a gripping story. Wild case. Dan Abrams will stay on it for us.